And look at that. Two Star Woman Children is just displaying his power. The belly to belly suplex on a cataract. I mean, cataract has got, has got to be at least in the 280. Oh, uh, oh, talk, man. Two Star had a huge, perfect opportunity to put away cataract. That huge moonsault, that stalling mid airs moonsault that, that Jim Stone has made famous over the years. And Cataract puts knees up, preventing Jim Stone to, to execute, to perfectly land that moonsault. I mean, I mean, seriously, I mean, I mean, these guys have, I mean, have this do or die attitude. I mean, I don't know what it's going to take for these men to either get knocked out, submitted, or pinned. One, two, three. Oh, look at that, this elevating Gene Starwin, their cover. This is what I'm talking about. Every time someone has a great opportunity for a three count, the partner from the Aprons comes in, breaks it up. That, I mean, that's like tag team wrestling 101 there. You have to go for the guy on the apron before you go for the pin. You have to make sure he's incapacitated to the point where he cannot interfere and break it up. And that's something that we just have not seen here tonight. The puffer is in. Putting Gene Starwin down. Lifting him up. Looking for the back here. He's got him by his neck. Lifting him over his shoulders. And with that nicely executed inverted suplex. Remember Ross though. See this what I'm talking about. You have to be aware. All, all sides of the ring. You have to be constantly aware of where you at. And. You know, Ross is just the right place, right time. Paul Furioso in enemy territory. That's what happens. Sick drop in this damn near this launched Paul Furioso clearly across the ring like a sack of potatoes. Yeah, Ross is in the middle of those chops. Of course, well, of course, we can hear the fans how they was reacted to it. I mean, sex and violence. I mean, truly sure known for, you know, the, you know, what the, the, they say on the mic and how they talk trash about, about their opponents. There's moves like this. This is not totally mission on the proper for you, so. Wait, Ross was trying to go up between him for a pin. And he didn't. I guess he won those. I guess he, he knew for some reason, I guess, just doing a knock toy mission. This wouldn't be enough to put away Paolo Furioso, considering the fact that Cadillac is still on the apron. And this is with that. Dean Starlin just dips down the ropes. Paolo Furioso thrown outside. I don't know what the whole point of that was. I guess it was to the referee. So Ross Richard can go up the outside and beat up Cadillac. Now this is the perfect opportunity for Chucks and Bunce to go for a pin attempt on that Cadillac on the outside laid out. Nice point, Rock. Like exactly what I was saying earlier. Now that, you know, Cadillac has been taken out of play here. The perfect opportunity, but see, look at this. Taunting, and now, and now look, Cadillac is getting up. Bad cameraing here, folks. You can't see it, but Cadillac is back up on the apron. Okay, I think there's a certain level of overconfidence in sex and violence right now. And believe me, in the case, you don't want to be overconfident, because usually overconfidence always leads leads to failure in some way to perform. That's usually how sex and violence is. They're always overconfident in any situation. Because they believe they're the best tag team, the best wrestlers in the world. And there he goes, Gene Stalin, the moonsault, the Paul Frioso, and he actually did it in enemy territory nonetheless. Tara came in and prevented it. And his shoulder tackles. Okay, now very smart listening to you know our advice going after a guy on the apron. Clothesline cannot seem to connect and and just total miscalculations here all over. Someone's gonna get the upper hand here as Gene Starlin seems like he's doing so wait it! Oh my what move! I've never seen that move before! And Gene Starlin had a perfect opportunity to end this match with that huge we know what that move was that Gene Starlin just pulled off. But I guess Pablo Frioso, just like we've been saying before about their do or die and never say quit attitude, Pablo Frioso kicking out. 
that devastating move by Gene Starlin. I mean, if Sex and, if Sex and Violence wins here tonight, we're going to have to ask him what that move is called because that, that was amazing. Wait a minute, in the corner. This, again with this move. He, you know, you think he's going for a power bomb, but then he just, you know, reverses him and slams him down in his stomach. That can have some serious internal injuries here. Cover. And puts it away. Stick of the final fork and pimps and thugs because they are done. Here's your winner and still UWA Tag Team Champions, Sex, Sex and Violence. I mean, whether you love Sex and Violence or you hate Sex and Violence, either way, you gotta you just have to respect this, this, this great match here that these four men had, and you just gotta respect. This, 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 this perfect title defense by Sex and Vance as they were able to turn down the challenge, turn back the challenge of Pimps and Thugs in this huge high stakes match. So I guess Sex and Violence retain the tag team titles and keep their job. Let's show a replay of this of the final part of this match. Look at this. This move, this move that he stolen just did the second time, taking out Pablo and getting the win. So there you have it. Second violence, the technical champions, and they keep the job. And unfortunately, this is the end of Crimson Cups. The last time they'll see them in the UWA area. Yeah, never, never surprising. And Second Violence did pull that win off fair and square. Said, I would think it's time to wish Crimson Thugs the best of luck in their future endeavors. Well, ladies and gentlemen, tonight was a huge night, and the next chance will be be on YouTube is going to be do or die huge matches on the card that we the a corporate ladder match Lord Magnum franchise player Sombrero and the Destroyer the more contender for the UA title at Beach Party Slam the member of Sombrero gets beaten the first man to beat him if he gets beaten will become underground champion it's going to be a huge match Double X Championship on the line with huge stakes on the line Athena Coco Laura Hardy for Double X Championship Coco loses She'll never have a double championship opportunity for a year. Laura Hardy loses. She loses Laura Athena's contract. Laura H Athena loses. to become the Laura Hardy servant for the rest of her life. West Coast Championship on the line. Steel Cage. Fatal Foy. Elimination Escape Match. Mac Martin. Luke Fowler. Gutwolf. And the West Coast Championship himself. The undefeated glory of the universe. Planet X. That was a high stakes match. Epic action. It's going to be a must see, folks. Huge six double X tag team action. Jungle Bella and Dora and Gemini O Natural against Mickey James, Arisail, Mia Essex. Number can wins become number contenders for the UA Women's Tag Team Championships. And a member, if Jungle Bell does not deliver, she'll be sent back to the rainforest, but she'll be fired if he doesn't deliver. Then a tag team grudge match. The Mythbusters against the Suicidals. These two men made ever since the mess of the ring. Ever, 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 ever since the Mythbusters got taken out and the Suicide was an unexpected terrorist attack, these Mythbusters have been wanting to seek revenge. Then the Urban Rules match, the worst championship of the world, Ursula Ariano was peaking with her. But Ursula Ariano has been playing this match for a long time. He's been gone for a whole week. He got the whole mind off. It permits you for this match. But despite Peak Angels, Winner Circle, her, her possible interference, who will win at Do or Die? And then in the main event for the YouTube title, Flaxigo Burst as a special outside enforcer against as Samoa Joe takes on the number contender, Super Saiyan Broly for the YouTube title in the main event. But a huge card for Do or Die. As I can't wait for it, for it's going to be a huge night. So many things to see. And the duo dies will arrive on YouTube Friday, July 24th. Can't wait to see it coming from Fort Bright Air Force Base in North Carolina. As we pay our honor to the troops, the brave men and women of the armed forces. Ladies and gentlemen, don't miss it.